Hello everybody. So today I am going to discuss how we're going to design the meta surface base meta lenses. So meta lens. So meta lens is basically a lens designed based on the meta unit elements to reshape the wavefront to focus on a single spot. So basically, when we give a input as a plane wave, and this is the meta lens placed and uh, all the meta atoms placed along this meta surface are giving or reshaping the waveform such that it will focus the electromagnetic or the plane waves at a single point so how we were going to achieve this uh, uh, waveform reshaping so basically at the outer edges the plane waves is having is receiving more physically compared to the center one so there is a specific uh, equation already defined in various literature you can find to that uh, uh, equation to get the phase delay of the specific unit atom placed along this meta surface so <coughs> let me show you my design for meta lenses so basically I have designed two type of meta lenses the first one is on axis meta lenses and uh, this also have two categories so on along simple axis on along the axis this first one is focusing the plane wave at single spot and the second one you can see there are two groups of uh, uh, rings these rings have uh, the outer ring is focusing the plane wave at 200 millimeter and the inner so this is dual spot focusing and this is a single spot focusing and the type is on axis so these were going to uh, focus the light along the same axis but at different focal lengths the second kind is the off axis metal lenses where we have single spot and the dual spot. The single spot is focusing along a specific wavelength but off the axis. These are the coordinates I have shown here. So it will going to focus along X value 50 and Y value 50 millimeter and here we have two focusing spot. So you can see here and this is the unit cell. So let me show you the some of the results I have got from these so this one the first one is the single spot focusing metal lens you can see it is focusing the light at uh, the plane z equal to 100 millimeter with a single spot and this is a cross-sectional view here the plane wave is input uh, to give into the this meta at uh, meta surface and the it is meta lens is focusing the light at 100 millimeter along the c axis and this one is for dual spot on axis meta lens here you can see a two spot at different wavelengths and here is a cross section a 3d view you can see this is dual spot the first uh, inner resonators ring resonators are focusing as z equal to 100 millimeter and the outer they are focusing at z equal to 200 millimeter and this is a cross-sectional view and this is how the uh, plane width inputted and it is reshaped and these are the off axis single spot focusing shown here this is the spot along x equal to 50 millimeter and along y equal to 50 millimeter this is the two spot here you can see the two spots but along the off axis not the, the center so so we were going to see how we were going to design a complete process to design these kind of meta lenses in CST today I'm going to show you so let's uh, begin so go to the CST and before that I already have the macro file to design these lenses so which is I have saved so here you can see whenever we are going to save any macro we just need to click once and boom 
as you can see this is how the meta atoms at the circular rings of different radii at uh, different locations so all these are focusing light at a specific single focal length so let's start the designing process so go to the new new go to the microwave RF option and you will going to see the periodic structure next go to the full metamaterial structure time to make okay and let's give the frequency range let's suppose from 5 to 10 e field okay next next and now the template is set up so we will going to start uh, to design so already you guys have seen my videos about how to uh, create any structure using macros or how we can repeat the structures and uh, using macros so first of all we need to define the circular ring which we will going to repeat so yeah meta atom I gave a name and spot the outer radius is i and the thickness which is t let's select the material copper okay print you what is that error the name must not contain a space oh yeah there was a space so our value let's suppose it is 5 and t value is thickness should be 0 0.035 because it is meta surface so very thin surface so let's click ok so yeah here we have a circular ring a circular patch so we are going to repeat that circular resonator so go to the history and select this go to the macro more option and click ok here you will find the macro option so we are going to create the macro for this let's name it meta demo one make it global so you can use it in every project you don't need to repeat it again and again if you make it available if you select this option it will be available at your global for every project you can use it so here, here is the macro tab open. So we will going to see. Let's see where this component one is defined, and the meta atoms is defined. So again, go to the macros. Go to down, down, down. Here, you can see component new component one, and uh, the name of the component is meta atom. So we will going to put the four loops here and we will going to repeat and the structure so before that <coughs> first uh, i already made a code for it so i will going to copy that code and paste it so we need to have these variables and uh, one two variables m and n and one is the array that we have defined so total number and uh, this uh, length of the array is the total number of circular rings that you are going to define for your meta items and for each rings there is specific radius that you can calculate from those equations meta atoms equations oh i forget to show you those equations so here are the equation for on axis and off off axis meta lenses so phase versus the unit at meta atoms coordinates and the focal length this is the relationship between them this is the equation for on axis meta lenses and for our off axis meta lenses so you can calculate the values for on axis and off axis meta uh, just put the coordinate values and the focal length and so on so you will going to have those so these are the equation i have used so based on that equation i got uh, these radius values so let's copy these instead of 
doing the labor work and paste it copy paste it so I have pasted the, all the radii values of those circular patches and then we were going to apply the for loop so this is the for loop you see the for loop the first variable n start from 2 to 10 is the 9 number of rings and second go from 1 to 6 n everybody please note that this is important you have to put 6 times of the value of the n for this in order to have a circular rings that are space enough to each from each other otherwise uh, they will be so close to each other that you will going to have a problem so here next to m we are closing first loop then next to n we are going to close the second follow up okay so these are closed so let's take it and put it here because we are going to repeat this so we have to put this these commands code commands of the cylinder that we are going to repeat inside those four loops so few of other things that you have to take into account is that uh, in a, because in this is inside the for loop so this structure is going to repeat and uh, if you do not put a string this command here you will get an error because this meta atoms is the name uh, whenever the for loop uh, going to uh, repeat this structure and if you do not put this command the meta atoms having the same name and you will get the error so in order to change or differentiate from meta atoms from each other we have to assign the different names to each meta atoms and this string command with the uh, and these variables going to put the number here and meta atom will going to differentiate so other things we need to modify is the outer radius yeah because we are having a different variable uh, different meta atoms at each ring with a different radius so we will we already save those in this here so we will going to use this array Here instead of auto radius and here you have mm, you, you we already know that in order to have a circular motion from rectangular coordinate system to circular coordinate system uh, we have the x component is the r sine theta and the y component is the r cos theta or, or so on so we can change it so based on that there is a equation that you will going to use is this copy that and paste here so this 15 is the periodicity of the meta atoms or the distance between each meta atoms and is the value of this for loop and the sine 2 pi this is for conversion to the degrees and m divided by 6 n is you have to include this one and same for here but instead of sine we will going to use cos so this is just the polar conversion of rectangular to polar form and yeah that's it so we are done and now we will going to run this macro so before running let's go here and let's see that we, we if whether we have this macro or not so here you can see lens demo we are having this macro here so just click it oh there is something here yeah
so you see these meta atoms have been generated and placed in a circular rings So here you can see we have this meta atom repeating in a structure. So you can delete this center one which is placed. So this one you can delete this and yeah boom we are having. So now we can define the substrate uh, along this and that's it from today's video. I hope uh, it will be very helpful for you guys to design meta atoms for different uh, array form you can repeat so this is a circular pattern so you can design the same by having the rectangular pattern and in the columns and in the rows so this is how we can design so thank you very much i hope you enjoyed it please do not forget to like and subscribe see you bye bye